Hello, happy day to you. Fourth and fifth grade, this is English for April 8th. And we are going to, sorry, let me uh, move this a little bit to the side here. We are going to do uh, pages 195 and page 196 today in your textbooks. Why don't you th uh, get that out? We are gonna talk about um, the two words that you most often use and you probably use them more often than what you think. Um, have you ever said, I don't feel good? <laughs> now, I know a lot of you are in my class that are in my class, you know, sometimes come and you don't feel well. Or you say, I don't feel good today. Um, did you know that it's actually impossible for you to feel good? What? You say, how can that happen, Mrs. Campos? How can you say that? You cannot feel good. You can feel well. You say, how is that? I've always been saying good. <laughs> can I tell you something and admit something? I've said, I've said good a couple times as well. Um, but I'm gonna teach you the two differences today. Uh, what your book here, uh, follow along with me on your book, the two differences between good and well and when to use good and well. Again, please don't ever again say, all right? And if you do say this, you are speaking incorrectly uh, or you are speaking grammatically incorrect, all right? You don't want to speak that way. So don't say, I don't feel good because it's impossible to feel good, okay? It is possible you can feel well. You say, you know, when you come back to school in a couple of weeks, Lord willing, and praying that it's soon, um, uh, if you ever say to me, I don't feel good, I'm gonna say good or well. All right, and that's how I'm gonna to test to make sure you're watching these videos. But good and well are modifiers that are sometimes confused. Sometimes you get these two confused. You don't know when to use them, you use them incorrectly, or you might be using them correctly. It just depends on um, if you've learned this topic and if you haven't, we're gonna to learn it today. It's very important that we use them correctly, however. Now, good, the word good, as you see here, is an adjective. It is an adjective, all right? Uh, it, it can appear right before the noun it describes, or it can appear uh, in the predicate and refer back to the subject. Remember, in the predicate, that means after the, uh, the verb, all right? And it can do that. Let's look at three examples that we, I have on the board. Tom is a good singer. The word good is modifying singer, which is a noun, so that makes it correct, all right? Because it's being used as an adjective, all right? The next one here. This ice cream tastes good. This right here is modifying the word good as telling you how the ice cream tastes or uh, 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 how it, or uh, uh, telling you about the ice cream, describing the ice cream. And it's in the predicate here. All right, let's look at the next one. The play was very good. That's another example here of the word good in the predicate. The predicate would be right here, was very good. This is modifying however, not was, it's modifying the word play. So in those three examples that you see on the board here, there's one more on your books there that I'm gonna read. Good dessert to peer fast around our, whole, uh, our, our house. Okay, uh, if you're in my house, they do disappear pretty quick if you're in my house. Um, good is modifying the word dessert, all right? What kind of dessert? Good dessert, all right? So that is an adjective. So the, the way you can use the word good is if you're using it as an adjective or in the predicate. But again, if you're using it in, uh, in if you're using it in a different way, we're going to talk about the word well here. Um, if you're using it the way that you should be using the word well, then you're speaking it correctly. But good is an adjective. Remember that. All right. Good is an adjective. It can appear appear right before the noun is described, or it can appear in the predicate and refer back to the subject. All right. Let's go to the next uh, section here. Well can be used as an adverb or an adjective. So let's look at the sentences that I have on the board here. Roy did his job well. Well is modifying the word did. How did he do his job? He did it well. He did not do it good because it's being used as an adverb here telling you or describing how he did, all right? How he did his job. Let's go to the next one. I do not feel well today. The word I, uh, or the word well is modifying or telling you how a person feels. Again, if you are describing or, or trying to uh, tell me how you feel today, um, like I, uh, somebody just asked me a couple minutes ago, how are you feeling? I said, I'm feeling well. If I would have said, I feel good. And at times I do respond that way, but I can't use the word well that way. Why? Because 
um, if I'm or if I'm telling you how I feel, uh, it can uh, it has to it has to, you have to use the word well to tell how you feel. So how a person feels, if you're if you want to say how you feel, make sure you use the word well, and if you want to use the word good, make sure that you are uh, using it as an adjective, either right before the word it described or even in the predicate. All right. Let's look at think A real quick with me. I'm just going to do numbers one through five with you. Think A says this, all the following sentences are correct. Read them carefully to see how good and well are used. So we're going to read this together. Read number one with me. Ready, begin. Did you do well on the test? That is correct. If not, did you do good on the test? Number two, did you make a good grade? That's correct. Number three, Ryan feels well today. Number four, this is a good painting. Number five, Mia did a good job on her report cover. So uh, I want you to read number six through 10 by yourself there at your home to get a hang of, to start getting the hang of how you should be speaking and how uh, uh, you can use these two words and how they sound when you uh, speak with those two words. Think B, write either good or well in the following sentences. Think uh, uh, number one, that was, uh, oh, sorry, I'm blocking it right here, apologize. That was a blank tennis match. Which one of the two words, good or well, would you use in place here uh, in, in this blank? That was a blank tennis match. Would you use good or would you use well? Okay, good, you would use the word good. All right, so good would be in the blank. Number two, if you eat too much candy, you will not feel what, if you are saying, how you feel, you would use the word what? Well, correct. So in the blank there, write well. All right, go on with me to page 196, and I'm not gonna do this on the board with you because I have no space here. Read each of the following sentences. Decide if the sentence is correct or incorrect. If the sentence is correct, write correct in the blank at the left. If the sentence is incorrect, write the mistake and write the correct answer in the blank at the left. Number one, a well joke, uh, can lighten a person's day. The, um, I think they have the adverb underlined for you. Yes. No. Okay, I'm looking at my answer key here. Um, okay. First of all, is this sentence correct or is it incorrect? A well joke can lighten a person's day. Okay. Um, it would not be well, it would have to be good. So the sentence is incorrect. So in the blank, you're gonna write the correct word in the blank. You're gonna write good in the blank. Number two, she did good on her patriotic project. Is it good, she did good, or she did well? It's not good, it is well. She did well on her patriotic project. So in the blank, you would write well. All right, you are gonna do numbers three through 10 just for today, and we're gonna finish that uh, we're just going to finish thing C for today, and that's all you have to do for today's um, for today's lesson. All right. If you have any questions, again, don't hesitate to uh, send me a text. You can uh, call me. You have my number there, and also you can uh, email me if you'd like. I love you. Miss you. Have a great day. Bye bye. Ah, not stopping.